ఓకే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఎవరిబడి ఇట్స్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ డే బ్యూటిఫుల్ పీపల్ సో వెన్ వి లుక్ అరౌండ్ వెన్ వి హ్యావ్ పాజిటివ్ యాటిట్యూడ్ వెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ పాజిటివ్ యాటిట్యూడ్ ఆల్వేస్ వీ కెన్ సీ ద బ్యూటిఫుల్ థింగ్స్ అరౌండ్ sometimes i wonder all those existences you know the what we experience in this society and around us um is make myself sad that's a human nature whatever we hear whatever we see whatever we experience sometimes most of things are not always positive those are difficult experiences too <coughs> sometimes we hear people are playing in the beach and then tidal wave come and wash the way and kill thousands of people sometimes we hear and you know the families they live joyfully and happily and big flood come and wash whole area sometimes you know the earthquake come and kill thousands of people sometime i hear somebody is just watching the television and get a heart attack and die so those are the stories we always hear and experience did you think what is the meaning of this life so i was thinking i am not away from those experiences that means we all are lined up sooner or later we all are going to experience some kind of those things in our lives the problem with us <laughs> me and we all of us until we experience it we don't feel it so the p- person who practice meditation always be aware what is happening and around you all the stories and phenomena uh, situations people are experiencing so you go to work make money you are cooking and eating taking care of your family those are wonderful things you know now we all are part of this world we cannot go walk away from those experience we have to do sometimes we don't like it <laughs> no options always we have to do it no matter what but think always things are happening so a few days ago bante sumana's father passed away he went to sri lanka before that and he called me few hours ago and he said Oh my father is doing good. We took him home. Now I am doing my other things before I leave the country back. Then after like 6 7 hours later he left the message again I was in the meditation class you know Bante my father died. Same day one morning he said the morning he said my father is doing good I am very happy now I am getting ready to return and you know then the evening he left the message two messages actually please answer the phone <laughs> my father passed away <laughs> so i was in the meditation class then i was thinking think about how life treating us so then this kind of situation this is the reality of existence how we are going to enjoy this life when we experience those things i can see we can do two different things two different groups actually one group forget about those things i don't want to think about it. some people think you know i don't like to do it you know hide all those negative things i really enjoy now that's good if they can but the reality always come into the front when you try to push it out that much fast it will come back to you so some people i can see they are doing like that too 
So there's another group of people, or oh, that's the way it is. My my best saying always what to do? Nothing. Just play with it and just live with it and just enjoy that moment. So once Buddha said life is subject to change. Life means everything. Yourself, your body, your children, your family, my family, the world, trees and birds. Animals, everybody and everything subject to change. Then there is no happiness if things are changing. That's the way people understand. It's a very negative experience for many people. Changing, they don't like to accept the changes. I think always my experience, that's the beauty. It is changing. So Buddha said, many people... When they don't understand the whole Buddhist teaching, they think Buddhism is very pessimistic or optimistic. What Buddha said, not pessimistic or optimistic, it is realistic. That's the reality Buddha taught. The impermanence is the reality. So we cannot kick out. We cannot kick to the reality. What you have to do, we have to accept the reality lovingly. So, the person who can understand the changes in permanence, he is the one, she is the one really enjoying the life. I realize that's the beauty, that's the power of this life. That's a wonderful thing. So, then people, couple of people ask, when I understand the impermanence changes, I cannot do anything. I am sad. I think that's misunderstanding about whole thing. So, I always reminding people, there is no time, guys, hurry up. <laughs> time passed, time flies. So, then we don't have time uh, to be lazy, because life is short. So, yesterday actually, yeah, yesterday, yes, last night. Last night, somebody said, you know, <coughs> when she was doing meditation, he is falling asleep. I am bad. I am not good meditation practitioner. She made her own little hell. Even doing sitting on the meditation cushion. And so I cannot meditate. I am falling asleep. I said, how wonderful. You are falling asleep. Just accept that first. Then she said another thing. You know, you know the night time, I have another difficulty. I cannot fall asleep. <laughs> now she is <laughs> meditation cushion. She is, she is, you know, the sleeping. Now when she go to bed, she cannot sleep. Now she is not happy about that too. Then she asked, it will happen to you? I said, many times. Many times it will happen to me. I cannot fall asleep. So then what I am thinking, okay, now I am awake. Why bother? Be happy. Then what I am doing myself, in the dark room, I am smiling to myself and enjoying myself. <laughs> right? Nobody looking at me. Nobody thinking I'm crazy or something like that. That's the only time I have to smile to myself. So, still I cannot sleep. I get up and do sometimes, you know, things. Sometimes, you know, David sent me a message just because I'm emailing him for the different things. Dante, you wrote this email 3.30 in the morning. What are you doing? <laughs> so, sometimes I wake up and do things. So, always, what we have to do, understand the nature of the existence, nature of the existence, and enjoy each moment. Don't complain, oh, I couldn't sleep right now. If you cannot sleep, do something. Enjoy that time. So, most of people, especially night time, when they cannot fall asleep, now I am going to be tired. I cannot wake up tomorrow morning. What they are doing, laying on the bed, and killing their time and making a story. That means they are not living. So, if you want to live happily and peacefully, my point this morning, understand the nature of the existence, nature of the life. What is the nature of the life? The beauty of the life, always changing. Always changing. My question for you, are you ready to accept that changes? Are you ready? Sometimes. Sometimes. That time you can enjoy your life. When you are not ready to accept that, then my next question, are you ready to suffer? Sometimes. <laughs> right? Sometimes. <laughs> no, right? So, 
I realized, this is my personal story. I realized I am not ready to suffer. <laughs> if I don't want to be suffer, and what I have to do, I have to accept the life way it is. Always say, it is okay, it is fine. This is not the end of the world. So, always you have to come into the present moment and look at this time right now and enjoy each moment. So, then life will be very easy and wonderful. That's the beauty of life. And next thing, people think, when I think like that, I cannot do anything in my life. No, that's wrong. So, now I understand things will change at any time, but still I am focusing on the blue lotus. My dream to build the blue lotus temple. I know everything is subject to change. Maybe I will die tomorrow morning. But still, my job, because I am a part of this world, part of this community, I have some responsibility, I have to do my work. If I die tomorrow morning, maybe something will happen, then people will continue. So, I am not forever. So, we all have to understand what is happening around us. Keep doing your job. That's the love, that's the compassion, what you are doing to the world. That's the beauty of life. So, any time, any minute, things will change. Right? Don't make a big plans and just enjoy <laughs> whatever you have right now. <coughs> so, any comments and questions? <coughs> Yes. I like what you say when you when you say that if we if we um, think that have all the changes around us are beautiful, you know, and awesome and, mm -hmm. and uh, interesting and everything, mm -hmm. um, and you talk about um, even the catastrophes mm -hmm. that happen, you know, because this is going to this is just reality. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. But I think it um, maybe also um, a lot of changes occur within us, mm -hmm. our minds. Where sometimes we experience pleasure, sometimes mm -hmm. we experience pain, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. happiness, yeah. unhappiness, and these are changes too. And mm -hmm. I think if, if we if we <coughs> take a perspective where those are also awesome and beautiful, right? And mm -hmm. uh, you know that helps. Uh, you know, I, there's a really great comment. Always we have to see that external and internal both both experiences are beautiful. Don't make them you know the, like a negative. It's not negative. That's the part of all this existence. Whatever we are going through inside and around us. That's a good comment. Thank you. That's okay. Yeah. I heard a line in a movie yesterday mm -hmm. where somebody said to another person, everything will be okay in the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. And if things aren't okay, be happy because it just means it's not the end. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a good, good comment. <laughs> Anything? Any question, comments, concerns? Well, Bhante, you know, it's funny at times when you think of, yeah, you know, like your life. You said that my purpose is to build a blue lotus. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's, it's. I mean, we're all connected, but it's so. Everyone has such an individual thing that makes them their life go on, mm -hmm. you know, and make a purpose for their own lives. Because it's hard sometimes to make that up to yourself. Like, say, if you're going through bad times, to, to really see that. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not sure exactly what my point is, but my point is obviously it's very personal that you have to have something inside you that makes you want mm -hmm. to. Yeah, it's totally your own responsibility. Yeah. Because we cannot reflect on other people, this is your experience. So I talk from my heart what I am going through in my life, what I am experiencing. So that's the way I am looking at whole life itself. So otherwise I cannot enjoy this life. I have to make it positive because all the negative things, you know, we call negative, but it's happening around us, in and out. So then I have to bring more mindfulness to my, my lifestyle. And then I can enjoy it. So it seems like you could just so easily fall into that because it's a role. And, but so basically, maybe feel sorry for yourself a little bit for just a short time, and then pull yourself back. Yes, I. You know, I like the pain sometimes. <laughs> I like it because without my pain, I never understand. 
सो समाइम वी हैव टू गो थ्रू ऑल दो पेन एंड डिफिकल्टीज दैट मीन्स इज अ ब्लेसिंग Always, you know, when people come with the difficulties and their issues, and I am always reminding them, opposite of that, that's the happiness. So look at that pain as a blessing for you. So many times, you know, most of experience when we experience something difficult, people make it double. That's the thing people are doing. So because they don't see, there is another opportunity next to this. Because people see this is bad. How bad this is! Always thinking negatively, then is making the bigger, bigger and bigger. So mindfulness practice, and you know, always accepting and see this is negative, this is difficult experience. But I am going to make it to positive. Somebody asked me one day, if you go to hell, what you are going to do? I said, I know. How to turn it to the heaven? <laughs> so you know, always we can do when we are happy and when we are mindful. So mindfulness is always I am telling people the tool. Always we have to keep it. Last ten years, how many times, Jason? Right? I talk about the mindfulness. So that's the tool. You know, you all have purse. You know, ladies taking around bag. You know, keep the mindfulness tool always. Like Thailand or something like that. We need it. We need it. Always we have to carry it. Otherwise we are in trouble. So, <laughs> anything? Any I just want to ask. You know, you, you said the word purpose. And, uh, the purpose driven life. That's a really popular book. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I don't know. It's just. I think that's a. You get up in the morning and you don't have a purpose. Yeah. I have a million. <laughs> you know, each purpose I'm keep doing and enjoying. I have big list every morning to accomplish and end of the day. So I'm not unhappy about it. You know, but I know what is happening. Still, I'm keep doing those things. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big list. <laughs> I mean, it's just one thing. I mean, I think that's... Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, everybody.